Hey guys, um, welcome to my costume lens review, contact lens review. Um, I have not worn costume lenses in a great long while. I haven't really taken photos lately. Where, where I live, there's not really any place to take pictures. I don't have a nice background. I don't have the space to back up in. And I just get tired of laying on my bed or laying on the floor in the kitchen. You know, I mean, I want something like I used to do in the woods or with a different environment. So without doing outlandish looks, I'd have no need for, you know, these kind of lenses. So I had started reviewing just the more realistic look. When Halloween came around, I had really planned to do this before Halloween to give everybody a chance to see what they liked so they could order if they wanted to. And then Color CL was releasing some amazing other lenses, and I got all wrapped up reviewing those. And by the time I remembered, damn, I wanted to do these for Halloween. Halloween was already passed. So I'm doing these early now, but this also gives people plenty of time to decide what they like or don't like, what else they might want to see. Um, you know, for me to review and then get your hands on them before they start selling out if there is a Halloween this year. So, in saying that, to start off with, um, <laughs> here I go again. Um, to start off with, these are blood red. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Ugh, sorry. Yep, these are called bloody red. And the reason that I got these, finally, is because... I have always wanted to try red lenses, and I've seen them on other people, and they always look great. They always look bright red, vibrant. For some reason on my camera, this is showing up as orange and orange, but this this wig, um, this is like a blood red, kind of almost a maroon red color. This is such a deep, dark, beautiful red, and these lenses are like fresh blood. They're like vibrant and red. I filmed out of the package on my phone so the color will be different there and you will you should hopefully be able to see the true color of these lenses of all the lenses in case they're showing up for you differently here than they are you know for me. I have messed with all the settings and there's absolutely nothing that I can do to change the color. I there's not like a color setting on here, so I'm not really sure what to do to change it around, and I apologize for that. But um, trust me, these lenses are red. And I always just thought, you know, if I tried on red lenses on myself, my eyes would just look like bloody poop. You know, they wouldn't show up at all. But then Color CL had some, on, on the natural lenses, they had some like kind of reddish colors and those didn't look half bad, so I thought, you know, if those looked all right, these, these might do good. And I was really scared that they wouldn't show up and cover my natural eye color, but I shouldn't have worried because they do. And, you know, from a distance, you can't really see the pupil hole that glaringly obvious like you can under the lights. And um, I think that they look really good. I actually really like them, and I'm happy with the coverage and the color. And I just wish you guys could see the proper color, but they are, they are awesome. All right. These are called Twinkle Brown. And the pupil holes on these are huge. I am not sure why they made them so big, but... Um, I do like the color. I was hoping that since they were brown, they would blend in with my eye a little bit better, but they don't. Um, if you can see, they've got a little, like, you know, when you draw little twinkle signs, um, they've got that design. I don't know if you can see it in there somewhere. It kind of, there it is. So there's, like, a little star right there that looks like a little twinkle. And this is, like, a patchwork mishmash of, like, yellow and green and brown and they're really interesting very very interesting and quite unique i just i kind of i really do wish the people hole was smaller i just don't know why they made it so big but i could foresee doing like a whole lot of doll like looks with these i don't do doll stuff but um if anybody likes doll stuff these are some really good Nightmare Before Christmas type contacts to wear for like a Sally look or something like very patchworky um, 
very unique. But that damn people hole, you know? <laughs> All right, these are twinkle pink, so they're almost exactly the same, except they're like pink and green. So if you can see, they've got the same twinkle design on them. There's down there and at the top. Um, it's just another variation of the same contact I just showed you. But um, I think these show up more and... Um, these would go really good with different colors of hair. The little twinkle kind of, it kind of gets to me a little when I look at it like this. It looks like I've got something on my lens I want to wipe away. But I do love the patchwork look and I love the different blends of colors that they have in this lens. I think it's very unique and I've never seen a pattern like this on other lenses before. So I think that's quite cool. Alright, this is Orc, and if any of you have followed me for any amount of time, especially way back in the day, you will know that I have had contacts of this design before, and I actually used to wear them quite a bit. This was actually, ooh, I have dirt all over my face. This was the only color I used to have aside from white and then the Manson white. Um... For some reason, like, I used to really, really like yellow contacts on myself. And, I mean, there's nothing spectacular to show, you know, close up. It's just red on the outside and yellow on the inside. Um, these are very striking and these are great for horror. Like, because here it looks white and red, but in person is definitely yellow. But it's like a pale, pale, kind of like an oozy pus yellow if that makes sense um mixed with some cool red and the red is very random which i like this is very different from this side so i like that no two contacts are exactly the same the design is really cool and i think that i really kind of miss these oh these these are called anime purple I, i'm doing this and you can't even see it it's called anime purple and this is so interesting to me because i i love that dark blue limbal ring like i just have a thing for contacts with limbal rings and actually on camera it looks way more realistic than i thought it would look even in person here it's like a beautiful purple color with a blue limbal ring these could pass for the natural line as opposed to you know the costume line if you wanted them to but if i turn the lighting up it still doesn't look too too bad let me go back down <laughs> and um i will zoom in see what these lenses um because they're called anime, so they've got like this this shape to them. So you can see that little line there. I'm not sure where that line's supposed to go. But the color, because it's not a solid purple, it's like different shades of purple with a blue limbo ring. Like I tried one of these on earlier and I wasn't as awestruck as I am trying them on now. Now seeing them both together. And on camera, I think that these are actually really, really pretty. And I would more wear them as like a natural, natural, unusual contact as opposed to a costume Halloween contact, if that makes sense. I quite like these. This anime line comes in a bunch of different colors, but it was just that blue ring with the purple inside that did it for me. And I just thought it was, it was so pretty. I just had to try it.
All right, these are the Saw White. When I first saw the name of this, I thought Saw White because it's like the movie, so it'll be like the red spiral or something, but they're not. They're, they're white lenses with a saw-like red design around them. Again, you've got that really strong, big pupil hole. And I've noticed that with, with um, the costume lenses that don't blend in, my eyes are so wonky. This is what I was talking about in my other video that's called What's Wrong With Me. This is what I mean with my eyes. So like, I look like this and see my lid is closed here and you can see this eye is like wide open and just staring off wherever the hell it wants to. I really don't like that. Like I wish both of my eyes were like this. I don't even really like this eye as much. Just this eye. This is the side I like the most, but this is my strong side, so go figure. Um, but yeah, um, wonky eyes aside, don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> um, these contacts are pretty cool. I mean, you're used to seeing the white contacts with the black line, so you can't really see that they've got a saw line to them, like hardly at all. They just look like they've got a straight red rim around. So I will zoom in on that stupid wonky eye so you guys can see better. Um, I know that's probably not too clear, but trust me, it's there. It's um, just a white jaggedy line that looks like a saw blade. I do like them. I like. I wish I had all these when I was still doing my bloody photos because these contacts would have looked so cool. So there are two lenses I have always wanted to try, but I haven't. These are one of them. The other one is the stitches, which Color Seal unfortunately doesn't have at this time. They might later knowing them. Um, the spiral and the stitches. So these are white spiral. I mean, they don't really, they're thin white spiral. So I'm not sure how well you can actually see that they're spiral, but they are. Um, if you can see that, see there you can see it. It's, it's a white spiral, but it's not hugely, I don't feel like it's hugely noticeable. It's just I've got this light in my face. Let me see. There. So without so much light in your face, you can see the spiral a lot better. And um, I think I don't even have this on the brightest setting because I don't want it to wash out my face. You see, you can't even see anything. So I will dim it down for you guys. And yeah. Um, in person, if you're close enough to me, you would be able to see that they're spirals. But from a distance, they look just white. But in either case, I've always wanted to try spiral contacts, and I really like them. I think for a saw cosplay or a ventriloquist or a doll-like look, these would be really, really good. These would be very, very suited for um, a look like that. And I, I'm still happy with them regardless. Oh my god, you guys, I love these. Oh, I'm so aggravated that you probably can't see them clearly. But these are just white with red blood splatter around the pupil. Oops. I thought my ring light was supposed to help me. But it's actually hurting the visibility of these contacts, certain ones. But, um, I don't know if you can see. Trust me, though. Just trust me. You can see in person. It looks so cool because the white blends in with the whites of your eyes and so it just looks like you've got bleeding irises which is really cool and oh my god I cannot wait to wear these for pictures and because the dark is around the iris hole it helps it doesn't look like it here but in person it helps the lens blend into your iris like completely completely I really really am impressed with these contacts I saved the best for last this time with these blind contacts. Oh my god. Um, 
in my um, intro video, I mentioned that they had two different pairs, one with small holes and one with bigger holes. And I wasn't sure which one I got, and I was hoping that I got the right one. And I did. When I tried it on, I could see, obviously, right away I got the right ones because these holes are so small that they're almost non-existent. You almost cannot see that I'm wearing contacts. You almost can't see the screen. Um... I have another old pair from Pinky Paradise and the screen is quite big and I never understood how other people had like these amazing like blind looking eyes and I could never get that effect without Photoshop and it turns out that there are different screens. <laughs> um, next time I will get the bigger screen contacts from Color CL and compare them to these just so that you guys can see the difference. So let me zoom in um, a little bit here so you guys can see what it actually looks like. So see, there's a tiny little micro screen right there over the eye. And I know that's probably blurry. So to answer, you know, some questions or a question about it, if you guys have never worn screen contacts before, <coughs> excuse me, yes, you can see out of them. They are not blind contacts. Your vision is semi-limited just because you're looking through a screen. So it's like you're looking through a heavy fog. With the other contacts, there's slightly more visibility just because the, the screen holes are bigger. But with these, because the holes are so small, I can see, I can see everything. Like there's me right there, there's the TV over there. And, you know, I can see every single thing. But I see it like I'm looking through a very, very foggy day. Like I couldn't drive like this or you know, go shopping or anything, you know, it's great for photos. You can go out for Halloween and you can still make your way around because I've had the blind contacts before and you can still see through those in a way because you can see shapes, but those are far more obviously opaque and dangerous than these ones are. These ones you can still make do and, you know, get around and do what you need to do. You just can't see a hundred percent clearly, but worth it. I love these so much. I'm so glad I saved these for last and I'm so glad I chose the right ones. So let me know which lenses you guys like the best and if you check out Color CL's website let me know which ones you might want to see next time. Josh is in the room now. He has not seen me yet with both of the contacts on. What do you think? Mm -hmm. it's scary. It's scary. <laughs> it's a horror movie. Does it look like I can see? No. Does it look like completely opaque to you? Pretty much? Not completely. But 95%. I can see you. <laughs> um, anyway, so... It's pretty. It's pretty? Yeah. Aww. Um, yeah, let me know what other contacts you might want to see, whether it's from the regular lines that they have or... Um, the um, color play lines and I will do my best to do those reviews for you guys. Um, let me know which ones of these were your favorites and which ones are your least favorites and um, yeah I guess that's about it. I'm super super stoked with these and I can't wait to take some pictures. These like all these color play contacts have made me want to like get dressed up and do some cool photos again which I know I can't because we've got nowhere to go, but one day I will, and I will put all of these to great, great, great use.